Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 14, 2022. If you like support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon for our full technical analysis and all our other services. The link is down below. So we'll start with looking at the WTI oil and yes, we I did mention in yesterday's video if we basically uh, broke a above uh, this trend line here which we basically did then we're most likely going to see a very bullish candle and we also got that so there is almost no pullback at the end of uh, wednesday session which is a very bullish shine this basically means that people are buying into the end of the session if you look also at technical indicators we can see that macd is turning around here stochastic is bullish rsi is bullish so it kind of looks like we are going to see this uh, first of all test these size here of uh, 108 and then 116 and then 120 after that it is going to go significantly higher so there is of course uh, there's of course um, risk here due to the fact that world economy is slowing down basically all over the place and uh, it's going to slow mo down much more if uh, if um, if uh, central banks all around the world are going to increase interest rate and and tighten based on qe uh, and that of course will have um, negative effects on oil oil is not supposed to be where it is at the moment but here we are uh, if you look at where oil was before coronavirus, it basically was the highest here was uh, at 65 and now we're at basically above 100. So, yes, there are different factors. War in Eastern Europe, uh, supply uh, supply, and so on is, is basically uh, testing this market. And um, as long as we will have uh, OPEC saying that it's gonna, not going to release more oil and and so on then this market will mostly try to go higher but it could tumble and tumble really fast so if you look at natural gas this is market is absolutely crazy it just takes your head off even though we had a shooting star here yesterday it rallied roughly six percent today it's getting into stupid territory uh, that is basically when rsi is is um, significantly above 70 we're at 81 at this point and if you just go back in time you can see every single time we get to this level we're basically surpassed most historical levels in rsi you can see it here when it tumbles we see it here when it also tumbles and so on uh, it's just a matter of time this is a uh, this is a massive ticking time bomb and even in the end of the session, people are buying into this because there's no, almost no pullback. So it's going to um, pull back quite aggressively at at some point. Uh, when that is going to be, uh, who knows? But we are reaching the point of, of this basically pulling back. And when it does, it's probably going to look something similar to this. So it tends to pull back nearly towards the bottom of the bullish band and if you look at the where the bottom of the bullish band is it's roughly a 4.5 so that is probably as far as this can go but when the selling starts it is very difficult to basically stop that selling because people will basically jump into that uh, opportunity in order to sell so we can also see it here we saw it here nearly here but here here also here so this is just a continuation of these rallies, which tend to go really far, uh, way too fast, and then it just explodes. So people are technically pricing in the end of the world, and uh, that is definitely not going to happen. So uh, yes, it's just a matter of waiting until we basically see the pullback. So breaking below this candlestick here of a 6.6, .6, .6, that is kind of the sign that this will turn around if you look at the macd it is bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is also bullish and at 81 significantly overbought if we look at the weekly chart it starts to look even more ridiculous as we are now overbought also in the rsi and we're significantly outside of the bullish band just see what happened here when we're outside the bullish band so we may well see another week and probably in two weeks of this but 
it's not sustainable when it goes this uh, parabolic you just scroll out and you can see that it has gone vertical and you can go and look at every single um, um, stock indice cryptocurrency everything that goes parabolical like this crashes so you can see it here this is basically um, back in 2018 when it crashed this was earlier uh, last year in October when it crashed and this is earlier this year when it crashes so it's just a matter of time when it basically pulled back and yes good uh, uh, good up opportunity to sell so hope you found this helpful you will welcome support channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much